we need to turn our train around so we can head back to Grand Junction. And for that reason, that's the purpose of our turntable here. This turntable was built in 1916 by the American Bridge and Iron Company in Ambridge, Pennsylvania. It was assembled in Macon, Georgia, where the Central of Georgia Railroad Line used it for a number of years, until it was later sent to Cedartown, Georgia. Then finally, we acquired it in 1982. Now, a little bit about this turntable. It's 80 feet long and also weighs 80 tons. When they originally used this turntable, it got the nickname of the Armstrong Turntable. The reason for that is there were two poles at that end and two poles at this end, and it took only four railroad men to be able to turn the entire locomotive on the turntable. Now you're probably wondering, how is that possible? Well, in the middle of the turntable right here is a six-foot balance bearing. So as the engineer would bring the locomotive onto the turntable, he's going to be watching the tracks down there. If you can take a look all the way down there, you'll notice the tracks are about two inches above where they should be. He would be watching those tracks and watching for those tracks to drop. Once they would drop, he would stop, and he knew that he was balanced. You see, this turntable is very similar to a teeter-totter or a seesaw. So once he was fully balanced, it was a lot easier for those four railroad men to turn the locomotive around on the turntable. So whether it's four men or a 25 horsepower motor uh, that does the work for us, it's a pretty amazing feat uh, because this turntable is 80 tons. Our locomotive weighs about 180 tons, so we're moving about 260 to 275 tons. Now this is a safe operation, but we do ask that you please keep behind the yellow line and make sure not to hold on to the road. Back up. Hopefully I don't run out of batteries. Our locomotive today is a steam engine. It's the 630. Stay behind the yellow line. The engine was built in 1904 by the American Locomotive Company in Richmond, Virginia. It's also what we call a consolidation model or a 280. And all that stands for is the wheel assembly. In the front, you have the two guiding wheels. In the back, you, or, I'm sorry, right behind the two guiding wheels, you have the eight drive wheels. And it's the zero means that it's not long enough or heavy enough to have wheels underneath the cab. Now, this steam engine does run on coal. And our firemen the coal in the back of will need shovel about two to five tons of coal in today's work. And we'll use about 5,000 gallons of water. See, he's watching the tracks. Watch the tracks down there. Yeah. Yes, I'm still recording, buddy. There it goes. All right. Oh wow! Back up. Holy cow! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we came in on track one, but we're actually going to be passing track one, and we're going to be going to track two. Right. After we line up for track two, I'm going to take you all over to our shop while our train crew puts our locomotive at the front of the train. Stay back, Jacob. That is so cool. Oh, my gosh. That wouldn't be enough to run our refrigerator. It would not be. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's a ride in one moment. Oh my god. That is just crazy amazing. They have the water because they're going for uh, speed. Yeah. Uh, That's just amazing. Today is just It's a big time deal. Golly. Yeah, 